afternoon everyone. We're just getting started. We'll be starting the service properly in a couple of minutes. Just make yourselves comfortable and we'll start soon. Hi everyone, we'll be starting in just a minute. Just make yourselves comfortable and we'll get going very, very soon. We just want to double check the sound before we start, as we've had a couple of problems with that in the past. If you can hear what I'm saying now, could you just give us a thumbs up on the screen uh, in the comments, that is, or, you know, a comment to say, yes, we can hear, how lovely to hear you, just something along those lines. That would be great, just so that we know that it's working. And then uh, just keep an eye on the comments here. Hopefully, if you can all see my mouth moving but not hear anything, someone will tell us in a moment that that's all that you can, all that you can see. <laughs> it's one of the challenges of not being able to hear ourselves back. We, uh, we don't have headphones that we can listen to. Just let us know if you can hear, okay? Someone's put a thumbs up. Thank you, Mary White. Appreciate it. <laughs> it's good to know that you can hear us. Okay, hope you're all doing okay. It's been uh, interesting weather the last few days around here. It has anyway. Can't say that we didn't need the rain. We really did need the rain. Um, it will have done the fields a lot of good because I know the farmers have been concerned about the, the dry weather locally. So that's good. I know we're all hoping it will uh, change again soon and become warmer again. And maybe, who knows? <laughs> this is the UK. It could do, could do literally anything. It might snow tomorrow. <laughs> so you might have seen from the picture on the screen that it is Christian Aid Week this week. It's the start of Christian Aid Week and we'll be mentioning this in the service and it has a Christian Aid theme to our service today as well. Let's start with our opening sentence. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He's risen indeed. Alleluia. We meet in the presence of God who knows our needs, hears our cries feels our pain and heals our wounds. Amen. Oh, you might be thinking, has she lost the plot? It isn't harvest. I actually really like this hymn and we only usually sing it once a year. Uh, so I thought, why not? Because today, as well as being the start of Christian Aid Week, is also in the Church of England calendar what's called Rogation Sunday. And in the past, I like to think it's quite a long time in the past, <laughs> maybe it wasn't that long ago, the priests would go and they would walk the parish boundaries and they would be blessing the crops uh, and praying for, for good harvest later in the year. And this kind of time of year is very important for farmers, for crops. If you don't get the right amount of rain now, it affects the yield that you get. At least that's about as much as I know about farming. So please correct me if I've said anything wrong. But I, I do know it's very important at this phase uh, for everything to grow well and to get a good harvest at the end. So we have a harvest themed hymn. First of all, we plough the fields and scatter. And do spare some prayers for our local farmers, farmers around the country as well that have faced our own challenging weather conditions. 
and farmers further afield that face challenges in the weather far more extreme than we face as well in different countries around the world. This is we plough the fields and scatter. pattering around, <laughs> joining in with us today. <laughs> There's some particular hymns that he likes more than others. He seems to quite like harvest hymns. <laughs> Maybe it's the uh, the rhythm. I'm going to pray a special prayer for today. It's called a colic prayer. God, our Redeemer, you've delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. Grant that as by his death he's recalled us to life, so by his continual presence in us, he may raise us to eternal joy through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who's alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I'm really going to swap places with Anthea and possibly also the dog. <laughs> and he's going to bring to us our first reading from Acts. Good afternoon, everyone. Hi. So our first reading is a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Peter was speaking, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who heard the word. The believers who had come with Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out even on the Gentiles, for they heard them speaking in tongues and extolling God. Then Peter said, can anyone withhold the water for baptising these people who have received the Holy Spirit, just as we have? So he ordered them to be baptised in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they invited him to stay for several days. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Oh. <laughs> Need the reading as well. Come here, Taff. Come and share the reading with me. Come on. Come on. Hello. I want to see everyone. Oh. Everybody loves to see you. <laughs> Taffy's going to read the gospel with me. And then he's going to go back in his bed, aren't you? Yeah, maybe. So this is our gospel reading from John's gospel from chapter 15. And I'm starting at verse 9. Aren't I? Jesus said to his disciples, as the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I've kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I've said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer because the servant doesn't know what the master's doing, but I've called you friends because I've made known to you everything that I've heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I'm giving you these commands so that you may love one another. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Come on then, can you bed? <laughs> Go and be a good boy. That's it, lie down. He'll probably, <coughs> he'll probably see I can say, he'll probably hop right off, <laughs> just to prove how well. <coughs> Badly behaved he is. It's all right. He's just welcoming the lawnmower from uh, from church back home. <laughs> uh, we have just heard two really interesting readings, and there's quite a bit in those readings about choosing, about choices, and the choices that we make in life affect us in lots of different ways. Some in very small ways, some things that don't matter at all. You know, what socks to wear, what flavour crisps shall I have, that that sort of thing. But some choices affect us in quite big ways through life. We don't always know which choices that will be. Um, I remember when I was little making choices that I thought were huge at the time. Turned out to be not very important after all, such as choosing to go and get giant bags of pick and mix at the cinema, only for Dad to send us straight back to put it all back because it was too expensive and get a more suitably sized bag of sweets instead. As you go through life, some of the other decisions that you make can affect things a little bit more seriously and you don't always know until afterwards which decision it is that's going to make a difference to you or to others around you as well. But sometimes in life, the things that affect us the most are not things that we've chosen, things that are completely out of our control, maybe to do with health or family situations, sometimes to do with income and financial matters. Sometimes these things are out of our hands or have got out of our hands and these things can affect us in massive ways and it feels like we have nothing we can do to, to help ourselves in the middle of it all. In, in Christian Aid Week we remember people around the world who are facing some really quite desperate situations and any of us could have found ourselves in these situations um, if we had the kind of extreme weather for instance or the extreme political situations that they do in these countries. Some people are facing drought and floods beyond anything we've ever experienced here in the UK. And I know that we've had our own share of bad flooding recently. But in other places around the world, they just don't have the infrastructure, all the wealth, all the, all the people available, the resources to help to rebuild and to help the people who've been so badly affected. And, and people really are struggling, uh, especially at the moment with so much international aid having been cut and I think that a, a Christian response for us is to ask ourselves uh, what we can give and we can choose to be generous. We might not be particularly well off, certainly not by the standards of this country, but we might be able to afford even just a pound uh, and giving even just a pound to Christian aid will go to help those people who are most desperately in need at the moment. There are other ways as well that we can choose to be generous and not just supporting Christian aid, but choosing to be there for those around us, choosing to be generous with our time for the people who 
who need to talk to us, who just need someone to listen, someone to understand. Choosing perhaps to just be there as a person for support for someone who's going through a difficult time can make a huge difference to someone's life and potentially the life of their family and friends as well. And so I hope this week we can think a little bit about our choices. Some things are out of our control, but there are some things that we can choose that can make a big difference to other people. If you'd like to support Christian Aid Week, then you can find through their website if you search for Christian Aid online. Uh, and we'll put some information about it on our Facebook page as well this week. And you can find on there lots of ways that you can donate and you can support them online. And there's, a, there's phone numbers that you can call as well if you prefer not to donate through online banking uh, and other ways to support them as well. Let's just pause for a moment of quiet before we continue. Just think about our choices. And I pray God that you give us the courage to choose to be generous where we can and the courage as well to ask for help if it's us who are struggling too. Amen. to swap places with Thea. Minus the dog this time, he's in disgrace now. <laughs> to lead us in our prayers. So I'm using some uh, prayers which have been written for this week by Christian Aid. Um, and it's always just a, a good reminder during Christian Aid Week that uh, the money that's raised through Christian Aid does not only go to Christians. Yes. Um, it's named in that way because it arose out of churches, um, but they support everybody who's in need. They don't limit it in any way at all, um, only to, to churches or to Christians. And so let's pray. God of abundant life, we see your goodness around us. And we thank you for every part of it, from the plants and animals, which are part of complex ecosystems, to the dry deserts and the stormy seas, which test the limits of life and the limits of our ingenuity. And we pray that in this time of climate crisis and ecological emergency, that you would help us to rediscover your love of creation and to reflect that in our own lives. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, who speaks through unexpected people, we thank you for contemporary prophets who challenge us to act, who challenge us to make changes to improve the world around us for indigenous people and their, their knowledge of the land and sea where they live, for scientists dedicating their lives to working to, uh, to reverse climate change, for young people taking actions to improve their future. We pray that you would help those in power to hear those people's voices. Help them to see beyond short-term priorities and give them wisdom and courage when they face difficult decisions. God, in your mercy, yeah. hear our prayer. God of second chances, we recognise the damage that we have done to the earth and the injustice that we see in society around us. We pray for the coming of a better world, with justice, kindness and humility at its heart. Give us confidence to follow the prophetic voices, to stand against injustice, so that together in your strength, we work together for the coming of your kingdom. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
We ask all this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray together. And in a moment, we're going to be uh, collecting together our prayers using the words of the Lord's Prayer, which has been recorded by uh, supporters and workers from Christian Aid. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. going to share in the peace as we love to do in our online services and in person as well and if you want to um, share the peace virtually you can press the little heart or type peace with you or peace or just pray it for those you know who you'd like God to bless the risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said peace be with you then they were glad when they saw the Lord alleluia alleluia the peace of the risen Christ be always with you and also with you alleluia so peace be with all of you. I'm going to just type into the comments, peace be with you all. And so you can all see it. I'll press some little heart pictures as well for all of you. I should call them heart pictures. It makes me sound about 104 heart emojis. <laughs> That's probably not even the right word. Not down with the kids. I don't think I ever was, even when I was a kid. <laughs> While we're doing that, all of you who are much cooler than I am, uh, we're going to just mention a few bits of information. Um, first, just a reminder, we've got the phone service on Tuesdays. That's at 10 o'clock on Tuesdays. And if you'd like to join us, we have a bit of a chat first, catch up with one another and then say morning prayer together, some, some prayers together. And you just need the, the number to call. So get in touch with us if you'd like to join us or know someone who would appreciate that service. St. John's Church is open during the week Wednesday 11 till 12 and on Sunday 11 till 12 as well after the morning service which is at 9 30 on Sunday um, and uh, St Oswald's is open 2 till 4 Sundays and Wednesdays and the morning service at St Oswald's is at 11 o'clock now this week is a bit special because um, Rogation Sunday Rogation Tide I think is these next three days up until Ascension Day, which is Thursday, which is one of the major festivals in the Church of England. Um, we are having, by necessity, quite a small service this year to commemorate Ascension Day. And it's going to be uh, in person in St Oswald's Church on Thursday this week, which I think is the 13th of May at 7.30 p.m. And we're going to, all being well, we'll be able to live stream that as well. So you can join in online as well. It'll be a short service with communion. Uh, all about Ascension Day. That's this Thursday. I think that's all the information. Um, we've already said a lot about Christian Aid Week as well. And so we thought it'd be nice to finish with quite a joyful hymn today. Uh, quite, a, quite an easy one to pick up if you are not familiar with it. There's loads of different versions of this. And actually, we quite often sing it at weddings, <laughs> as well as in schools and just in church. So this is Give Me Joy in My Heart. I'm actually going to just use this to change the key slightly. I'm not quite a talented enough guitarist to change all the chords in my head. <laughs> this should make it easier to sing. 
for all of you at home if you'd like to join in as well. Give me joy in my heart, keep me singing. Give me joy. Sometimes I think it's the simplest songs and hymns that are the best ones. Not always, but sometimes they're certainly easy to pick up. So let's conclude our service this afternoon with a blessing for all of you. God the Father, by whose love Christ was raised from the dead, open to you who believe the gates of everlasting life. Amen. God the Son, who in bursting from the grave has won a glorious victory, give you joy as you share the Easter faith. Amen. God the Holy Spirit, who filled the disciples with the life of the risen Lord, empower you and fill you with Christ's peace. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you and everyone you love this day and always. Amen. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. I hope you can join us again, perhaps on Ascension Day, 7.30pm on Thursday, or next Sunday, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And with the risen life of Christ within you, go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be peace to God. Alleluia. 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 Alleluia.